Hi guys, welcome back to Naughty Styles. Today we are back with our affordable liveaboard yacht series and we're bringing you a really popular model to check out. This is a 1993 Tollycraft 44. This is a really great liveaboard possibility, also a great boat for the loop here in the United States, if you know what that is, and most importantly, it is very affordable. So let's check it out. So we have a pretty comfortable side entrance here. Have a ladder right here. I propose we go forward first. Okay, let's change, change it, up, it a up a little. All right, let's do it. Pretty nice and wide walkway here. Oh yeah. Coming to the bow. Actually a really good size for deck. Right. Nice for some sundowners here too. Can put a couple of layout like they have over there. <laughs> Be nice here too. One thing I really notice is that it's extremely flat, the yep. deck. Not many uneven areas, so you can really put furniture here, you can put beanbags there, loungers, layout pads, whatever you want to put here. Totally. I mean, technically, you can have a little table that goes over here and have dinner right here. I was you just know, thinking the chairs. same thing. If you close the hatch, yeah. you put a little table there. It's totally doable. Yeah, this would be a nice little spot. Yeah. Something different you don't really get to have on your uh, typical Moriad setup when there's multiple levels and layout cushions. Totally. Uh, what do we have here in the front and the bow? Front and the bow, anchor. Oh, well, look at this. Someone marked the anchor chain properly and put a plaque here so you know how many feet of chain you have out. I call it the Titanic okay. spot. Um, we are both totally blinking. Totally blinking what right now. What this is like... called, put it down in the comments and educate everyone else. <laughs> We're drawing blank, you guys. Drawing blank. Put it down um, in the comments, what is it called? Anyway, so <laughs> Titanic spot, that's what we call it. <laughs> 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 Hi! <laughs> so anyways, really cool spot for dolphin watching, whale watching, if you have any in the area. The only thing I don't see is an access to the anchor locker, which is probably from the interior. Yeah. I would imagine. Got our foot switches right here for the anchor chain, uh, for the windlass, to raise and lower the anchor. And a faucet down there, which is, I'm not sure if it's a fresh or salt water faucet. Some sort of a water outlet. But some deck wash. Yeah. What is that for? That, it looks like a solar-powered extractor fan. Ah. And then we got here welded on, looks like custom-designed fender holders, which are pretty sweet as well. Really solid. Should we go back? Yeah. Okay, back on this side, on the port side. It's a really safe walkway. Very safe, you've got right. railings right here. Yeah, I would feel pretty pretty good about walking back and forth here. Also, look at the size of the windows. Yeah. So this massive. is a 1993, something to keep in mind because the, I feel like the window's gotten bigger and bigger now and we're just spoiled and used to it. But on older models, especially in the 90s, like it's, um, it's not so common. It's great to see such a big window. I agree. Okay, we're in a cockpit. Which is also a pretty decent size. A lot of space. This chair is actually gonna come with the boat, whoever buys it. They're really nice, heavy chairs. They look like kind of a light, but they're very heavy and solid. So you can leave them underway here and they're not going anywhere. Yeah. They're very comfortable. The size of this is great and it is convertible to whatever you wanna do here. So, so many the, possibilities. So it looks like you can enclose the whole area here. I see like an aluminum track right here. So you could enclose the entire back deck. Yeah, and it doesn't come with it on this boat, but you can totally do it if you wanna go somewhere, somewhere cooler or have this as your second living room. Yeah, and you already have the hard top on top anyway, so um, that gives you shade and protection, which is pretty cool. Check out the lower cockpit. Half cockpit. <laughs> Half cockpit. All right, what do we got here? Two large windows, which is great for cross breeze when you're down in the master cabin. Electric davit system for the dinghy on the, on the swim platform, which is really nicely built in and solid with a safety bracket our transom door to go to the uh, swim platform Ta-da! 
Very nice. I Actually, also really like, nice. The, like the dinghy. It's high out of the water. If you got some following seas and stuff, it's, uh, it's pretty, pretty high It's pretty high out of the water. It could be your entrance to the boat as well, instead of using the side stairs. Mm -hmm. I really like that. Over here, we have our shore power inlet, shore water inlet. This is probably a cable. Yeah, an old school TV antenna inlet and the water tank fill. All right, and... Oh, and an outlet. This hatch. Oh. Oh, wait, we wait, have, wait, there's something else there. We have another wash down here. And Very then we, have, we still have the lazarette with mm -hmm. plenty of storage. Access to um, the generator, which is a 10kW generator. Actually, really good space to work around it. Like, if you take the heat shield off mm -hmm. to do a service on it, it's really pretty easy breezy. It's and accessible. It's deep. Yeah, there's it's a deep. lot it's of not, storage. It's not it's, tiny. It's, it's full with stuff, you guys. Yeah, I like it. Stern anchor in there. Yeah, lots of space there. And the steering as well. I just see all the steering components down there. Okay. We go up to, is that really a flybridge? We'll call it a flybridge. Half fly? I mean, it is a flybridge. Command bridge. Command fly bridge. bridge, yeah. All right. Steering helm. Ready? Helm. Definitely makes it really easy to move around here, which is kind of nice. Split deck here. Yeah, it's only just like three steps up, three steps down. That's pretty great visibility. Look at that. Yeah, it's For anchoring really, and stuff. It's, it's a really, really nice. good visibility, actually. Yeah, yeah, it's fantastic. So this one is enclosed. Mm -hmm. Go and look at this amount of space here on top of the hot top. Yeah, it's actually good for some some storage to be able to put some lines, some extra stuff. If you have inflatable stand-up paddle boards and not too heavy, it would be a good space to put them. And also a, a good access to be able to go out there. Yeah. I agree. You can even go sit there for, for a nice sundowners as well. Yeah. Okay, so we have a good size sitting area right here. It all looks in a really good shape. This mm -hmm. is 1993. I think this boat is in a very good condition. So we got two helm seats here. One center, one off center mm -hmm. for the co-captain. And then all our engine gauges are here. Necessary navigation switches, autopilot, upgraded Garmin chart plotter. A little bit of an old piece of equipment right there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Very nostalgic looking. <laughs> then we have um, a VHF radio, compass of course, and then our engine throttle and shift controls. Anything you need as well as, seems like an iPad holder here, uh, when you're underway and you want to run your Garmin app, I guess, on the uh, on an iPad. Fireboy remote right there. Storage and access. Access to be able to service this area on both sides. Pretty straightforward. Yeah. All right. Shall we check out the interior? Let's go. Let's check out the interior. So this is definitely unusual. You don't see it on too many <laughs> motor yachts, but it is pretty nice to be able to get some oh, extra yeah. breeze in, right? And I think if you're underway, like, and you're really driving up from the fly, yeah. I just close this so you, you have a safe place to walk around on top yeah, of the exactly. flybridge. But um, it's good also for headroom. If you're taller, you're not hitting your head going down here. Well, another cool thing is like if you really have bad weather, I mean, of course, here the flybridge isn't closed, but if it wouldn't be, Correct. if it rains, you close this down, you can still maybe keep the door open a little bit, get some air in. Yeah, pretty nice. Hello. Welcome to the salon. Wow, that feels really open. Very bright, spacious. There's huge windows here that we have closed just so we can keep the lighting normal for filming, but it is pretty nice size sofa right here. I like it. Oh, oh that's sleeper a sleeper sofa. That's a sleeper. Sle sleep, sleeper, sleep, sleeper. Yeah, it's not a sleeper sofa. <laughs> sleeper sofa. Pretty awesome. Okay. And another window aft, which goes to the top deck. Yeah, this is cool. It's kind of nice. Yeah, it gives you a lot more light in here because mm -hmm. of it. I really like it. That's a foldable table. That's huge. Wow. That's fancy. That's massive. Pretty cool. The TV is right now covered up by this um, chair, but there is a flat screen behind here. Mm -hmm. So if you like watching TV, there is a TV. And this looks like storage on the hot port All side. All storage. Yeah. Wow. All around. Also, oh wow, look at that. Nicely tucked That's cool. away. Got all your binoculars in there, flags and so on. And then the electronic switches, everything you need to see there. Your starboard and port engine hour meter is right there. Are we going to do the rest of the helm here yeah, too? Yeah, go okay. for it. Since we're already down here, yeah, right? Yeah, might as well. Got our windshield wiper controls right here again. Fireboy uh, indicator, engine, throttle and shift controls. Another Garmin chart plotter. So this is your interior helm. 
Of course, the windows are covered right now with a sun protector. You know, if you're on the way, you obviously take the cover off and you have a really decent visibility too. Nice you're big windows. Close to the galley if you want to have a snack in between. There's more. And then we have more here. All our electronics, autopilot, etc. is all up here. Another compass, a VHF radio speakers. And then here we have our analog switches for the port and starboard engine, including fuel tank capacities, uh, fuel tank readers, our trim tab remotes right here. Of course, our navigation light switches, blower switches, and so on. I don't know if that's standard here, but these are really neat LED lighting right here. And there's also a strip on the, in the back there above that window, which I'm probably sure. makes a really nice light um, in the evening. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, when it's dark. Kind of a cool mood lighting. Shall we do the galley? It yes. Looks, it looks like you could you could have separated the galley. Look, what is this No, for? actually that what is, is that? to lock in your engine room ah. access, which is the staircase. So it has a little hooky thing. <laughs> that and then like you can, <laughs> that it doesn't fall on your head. Duh. Okay, we're in a galley. I mean, I know it, it's an older boat and it looks a little bit older. But um, the layout is kind of cool. You're open to everything. You could see people in a cockpit, in an upper cockpit, pit, cockpit there. You can see here, anybody here. You can actually like- It's all open. Cook and entertain. And you have this big, I want to say countertop up here on top, which is probably not easy for to use for cooking, but if you want to just no, rest something in it's between- It's right, yeah, just put being able to put stuff there. on top. I think it works. Yeah, pretty it's cool. It's got my favorite fridge. Yeah, no cool. Narco. Freezer. Maybe this one's actually combination. cold. This one's well, actually it's cold. frozen. It looks better than ours. Trash compactor. Trash compactor. Wow. Unusual for the boat of this size. I feel like that's not very common. This is a sanitary and fresh water tank monitoring system, so you can actually see the um, the levels here. See, full and oh, yeah. full water. So this is yeah, half. Got it. Kind of cool. Yeah. Easy to monitor. I like that. Mm -hmm. I think it's nice when you cruise, when you're really out there cruising, it's nice to be able to, to see where your levels are right there. There is an outboard storage here. Wow. Actually pretty decent storage. Oh, look how deep it is. Yeah. It's pretty deep in there. Yeah, there's a lot of space. This is nice. I like this. Dual sink, smaller sink right here. And on the left-hand side, a larger one. Mm -hmm. And that looks like tons of storage. Yeah. Drawers, we have a microwave also have an electrical stove. Oh, that's pretty cool. With a cutting board. How does that work? How do you get it? Oh, oh, just like that. And then, oh, it's an old electric. And then it folds. Uh, oh. Oh, wow. Oh. Check this out. It is definitely giving you a lot more extra counter space. It's kind of funny. I've never seen that kind of mechanism before. Storage right here. A little shelf. This galley has, for the size, a lot of storage. Plenty of room. Not bad at all. Really like it. Okay, switching switching around. That's a central vac. It is, huh? Yeah. I don't have a central vac. No, nope, you don't. I think it's like that. You also of don't it. have a dinette. I don't have a dinette either. And there's also some kind of an access point right there. Mm -hmm. So we have a couple of drawers here as well for oh. extra storage. Okay. And a really nice size dinette. There's some kind of a storage space there. Yes, okay, I'll open it. Oh my yep. storage friends. Deep one. That's where your napkins and your whatever decoration goes. Pretty, pretty cool. A lot of windows like that could be open. That could be open. Nice little cross breeze here. Then you have that um, side door, right? So yeah. it's actually really creating a nice amount. Like right now it's all open. You could feel the breeze in here. Pretty I nice. Agree. If you're somewhere in the islands, it's a pretty good option. Okay, we'll go forward. Got a guest cabin here. Smaller guest cabin. You can insert this yep. triangle goes right in here and then you have a pretty decent sized bed actually yeah i think it's a little bit on the shorter side yeah for like a tall person you're gonna have to have your feet hanging off mm -hmm. but for like outfit here no problem we have a hanging good locker. size hanging locker with stuff in there drawers here Lots of <laughs> and storage here they've really tried to utilize as much Mm -hmm. space as they could here. So that's got to be your ankle locker. Oh, that's your access, yeah. There are also two portholes, one on each side. Oh, yeah. and oh the boat has an ensuite. Yeah, that was the fan that you saw from outside. That's right. Must be this fan right here. It's a wet head, mm -hmm. so you technically could shower here. Uh, you've got your storage here. Storage is, keeps going in this cute nostalgic style here. Yeah, gonna take care of this mirror. 
But other than that, it's a good amount of room to mm -hmm. be able to just use in the bathroom at night and stuff. Also a good option for a day head when you have guests and you're just entertaining. So you can keep your master head private. Check out the master? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's like a heater down here. Yeah, a little built-in heater down mm -hmm. there. So we're passing the switch panel. I like that everything is, you can, oh, you close, can close everything. everything so it just sort of keeps it nice and uh, So organized. here's our, our main panel where all the um, 110 and low voltage breakers are, as well as your inverter control, generator remote switch to turn it on and off, and then your switch overs. Everything right here and something right here. More storage. Whoa. Oh, wow. It's deep. Okay, welcome to the master. I mean, I really like our master size-wise, and it's very similar to this one, but this feels really bright, like brighter than ours. Maybe the color of the walls and the extra lighting, but it's pretty it's, nice. It's, it's a good amount of windows, mm -hmm. um, and they're high up, so you, it really floods the room with the light. Definitely, and you can open, some of them are sliding, right? Yep. Slidables right there, and this is your escape hatch out of the master. Storage right here. Got a queen size bed. Oh, that's or kind close of an interesting resolution. You can work here sitting on the bed. That's not bad. I like that. So you have drawers everywhere. Here you have a good size. Wow, I would like this size closet for me. Oh, well, that's deep. Great. All the way, and there's space down there. That's very nice. Instead of having uh, nightstands, you have side stands. <laughs> <laughs> and there's one right there, also storage. Yeah. Yeah, not, not oh, pretty that decent. Well. Yeah, And I see there's here. another built-in heater down there and more storage. Right here. On the port side. A whole oh, really large. other hanging locker. Really good size. Yeah. Really like it. Definitely a good liveaboard or spend a lot of time on the boat option. And we have an ensuite as well. Escape hatch here as well. Very nice and bright. Let's check out the shower, huh? You didn't even ask me to go in it. So it's a separate shower. It's not a wet hat. It's a good size, Rico. Oh yeah. One and a half person. Yeah, I mean with a bench even. Yeah, got a good bench. Pretty good height. One five seven, so pretty mm -hmm. good. And if you're taller, I guess you could sit down and nicely take a shower. Very comfortable. Yeah. Storage wise, we have this sliding storage here, little medicine cabinet, and some storage down there as well. Pretty good. Now it's your turn, engine room. That's where your little hooky comes uh -huh. in. There we go. Nice. So is there access only on one side to the engine room? There is another access in the aft portion. Like the when other you come, staircase the that other we just came up. The other staircase when you come from the master. 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 <laughs> but you can't get into the engine room there. There's just an access hatch for, I, I think, some components which are in the back there. Got it. All right. We'll check it out. All right. I'm going to go. All righty, guys, we are in the engine room of the Tollycraft 44. Here are our main engines, two caterpillars, each 300 horsepower, which is plenty for the boat to do your, um, you know, any kind of long journeys. So let's just walk through here, see what we see here. We've got a water maker mounted right here next to the entrance. We have a hot water heater, then filters for the water maker. Our main engine sea strainers, one on the starboard side, another one on the port side have the central vacuum cleaner right here and then going back through the engine bay or in between the engines have our house batteries and engine batteries mounted right here in these trays our battery switches are right there as well as the breakers for the bilge pumps and then we have our fuel valves right here so you can decide where you want to return the fuel to and which one you want to pull from, as well as a battery inverter charger right there. you guys this completes our tour of this 1993 Tollycraft 44. I hope you enjoyed it and found it interesting. In this affordable liveaboard yacht series we bring you boats from $50,000 all the way to $500,000. And that's because we're based in Los Angeles where 
it's pretty hard to get a house for under $500,000. So based on that, we consider that affordable liveaboard. If you're interested in learning more about liveaboard lifestyle, definitely check us out on the Patreon. Huge thank you to all our patrons out there. We love you guys. Thank you so much for all the likes and comments and double thank you for the double comments. A lot of you are doing double comments lately. We really, really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, enjoy the outtakes and see you in the next one. In case you're planning on attending the, uh, the Cannes Yachting Festival, we will be there as well. So keep an eye out for us. And if you see us, say hi. Definitely say hi if you see us. As, except when we're filming, don't say hi. <laughs> Just wave, we'll wave back. Even if we're filming, we'll wave back. All right, see you guys later. Okay, Ciao. bye. I start walking. No, you need to start talking. No, you start walking. Start talking. Gray boat for the loop. And this is a really not a good intro. <laughs> Don't, there's, oh, okay. Ready? Okay. From over there, because that's but where we stopped. But then point at it, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, had a really good thought and just left me. Oh yes, one more time, I got it. Well, it was okay. Yeah, one more time. I just, I got it. I got it. <clears throat> also, a really good... Just keep keep going on. Mm -hmm. So we have a side oh, entrance okay. here. okay. You're talking. I thought you were walking. No. Oh, got it. Okay. Ready? Yeah. I'm in here. Where dum, are you? Dum, dum, dum. <laughs> and it's not a stripper so far I either. can't say... S sleeper? Sleeper. Sleeper so far. There's ice cream in there. <gasps> It's like ours. <laughs> okay. Do you want to switch with me? No. Oh. I want you to go around this way. What? <laughs> what? Okay. Go around this way. Yeah. Well, then we're switching. So now I like point things out. Oh. What? Nothing there. What? Am <laughs> Storage. And we have a master as well. <laughs> and now say it like normal, not like. <laughs> say so it's just normal. Back. Ciao.